Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in to this video. I'm Dr. Loyal Zubi, and in this video, we're going to continue our discussion about the convolution filters as part of the medical signal and image processing. So, in this video, I'll be talking about um, sharpening and edge enhancement. In the previous video, we talked about smoothing. So, we are still um, interested in convolution filters, and we would like to see what are the other capabilities of smoothing filters other than um, smoothing. So, we will talk about sharpening and edge enhancement. So, the first part I will be talking about sharpening filters and again um, as we mentioned before in the previous uh, lecture we said that we are utilizing the convolution process which is that you will be having let's say a kernel uh, mat matrix uh, like this this one here and it has values in it, in it which are the edge values of the kernel matrix and the kernel matrix is sliding along the pixels of our original image so each um, square here is a pixel or um, you know a cell and it has a value if it's a grayscale it should be between and it bit its scale um, you know image it should be between 0 and 255 so what we do in convolution is that we multiply um, each value of the kernel matrix with its corresponding value of the image and then we add them together and then you we scale them with a constant and what we did and that wasn't a smooth thing now when it comes to sharpening we are going to use a matrix kernel uh, which is actually different from the averaging one so for example um, this is uh, similar to what we talked about the Gauss filter that was in the middle here however sharpening is going to we start with the middle with a positive value and then we go to a negative values around it and then go back up to a, a positive or a zero of zero value so this one here the image is how the sharpening filter will look like now we have two sharpening filters uh, one that's you know the middle value uh, the amplitude over this five and then you go to negative into zero and the other sharpening uh, filter is nine the part the middle which is positive and then negatives around it so these are two different sharpening filters and if you do convolution of these filters with this image here uh, top right um, that's our original image we are going to get um, you know the images at the bottom so the one to the left here bottom left is the application of the filter one and this one is the one to the right is the application of filter two so sharpening filter are used to enhance the edge edges of objects and ad adjust the contrast um, and the shade characteristics of the, Im the images so that we can see more details uh, about differences uh, between the values or the grayscale values. Uh, so in company, if you combine it with th thresholding, uh, they can be used as edge detectors. And that's one of the things that why we, we introduce sharp sharpening filters now is that we would like to use them to edge detection. And that is useful in biomedical engineering and uh, medical applications. If you would like to look at cells, uh, certain types of cells uh, you would like to look at tissue as well so um, sharpening uh, alongside with thresholding is really an, an important um, application of uh, filters or sh you know in, in medical imaging um, and also as as opposed to smoothing which it was a low pass filter sharpening is a high pass filter which allow high frequencies uh, to pass and reduce the lower frequencies because high frequencies are the sharp edges uh, if you recall that and um, we if we would like to look at sharp edges big changes uh, we look at high frequencies and that's why we, this is a high pass filter keep in mind that um, it these filters are sensitive to any noise uh, from the camera if we are taking the images through a medical you know uh, camera so uh, this is what we mean by sharpening and i would like to show you another example so if depending also on the size of your kernel uh, matrix here uh, if you have a 3 by 3 matrix uh, you will get these images if you increase the matrix size you will get sharper images and that's what we see here so if this is your original image and this is a 3 by 3 uh, sharpening kernel matrix that's how it look like and if you are using a 9 by 9 the even the um, variations uh, will become sharper uh, and so that's how you look at your images so it's important to keep that in mind when you uh, try to do image enhancement uh, via sharpening your image or using a sharpening filter so the larger the filter or the size of your matrix the uh, higher the sharpness that can result so this is the first thing about that i would like to cover 
um, or the first part of this video, which is about sharpening, which is part of the convolution filters. Now I would like to talk about edge enhancement. So an edge uh, is a location in the image where there is a steep intensity variation. You, you have steep intensity variations, and that's why when we do the sharpness, we can see them clearly using the sharp sharpening filters here. So if you have uh, steep variations, uh, this is where you do have an edge. Uh, in your image and hopefully these discontinuities correspond to boundaries of objects of interests uh, so if you're doing uh, a medical imaging and you're looking at cells or tissue you would like to see that the steep intensity variation correlates to discontinuity or correspond to boundaries uh, of objects and you know, different tissues different cell types how do we enhance an edge so we determine um, a measure of intensity change and that's um, a rate of change uh, in the pixel neighborhood so the, the higher the rate of change between two you know adjacent pixels it means that you have high uh, or steep intensity variation and we can um, mathematically uh, find that using the derivatives so the first derivative of two variant functions uh, that's what we call what, what we mean what we mean by a gradient so if you would like to look at or de uh, detect and assess the intensity variation uh, we do the derivative and we have multiple operators that can help us doing this uh, i'm going to talk about two here in this video the first one is the sobel uh, operator and it is a differentiator operator and uh, computes an approximation of the gradient of an image in more specific details it combines gaussian smoothing the one that we learned about in the previous video and differentiation to do some kind of uh, edge enhancement and we do the edge um, in or um, detection actually in two di in the horizontal and the vertical dimension so the sobel operator in general it performs a two dimensional spatial gradient uh, measurement uh, on an image which means the variation between two different adjacent uh, pixels and so it emphasizes regions of high spatial frequencies that correspond to edges or high spatial variations um, and that's correspond to edges and it is used to find approximate uh, absolute gradient uh, magnitude at each point of the uh, input gray scale so um, it's sometimes called the uh, sobel feldman operator or sobel filter and uh, it's it's a very important uh, filter used in image processing and computer vision and what we do is that we try to sizing edges. This matrix or kernel is used to detect horizontal changes. And you, it's always the same. Minus 1, minus 2, 1 in the first column, 0, 0, 0, second column, and 1, 2, 1 in the third column. So if you pass or convolute this matrix with your image, so here, if you would like to go back to our original schematic, so you put the values here in these kernels, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 2, 1, and then you do convolution of your image, you are actually trying to, det using this uh, Sobel uh, filter, you are or um, kernel matrix, you are actually detecting all the variation in the horizontal axis and the same can be done with the vertical um, axis you know in the vertical direction you instead of doing it this way your first row is going to be minus one minus two minus one and then zero 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 and then one two uh, one so what we do is that and to detect the horizontal changes we convolute the image uh, that we have i with the kernel um, edge horizontal and if you would like to uh, find the vertical changes you convolute um, the image with your kernel edge vertical. We would like to make sure that the Sobel operator is separable. And um, this is the convolution. So you have your image, your uh, image, let's say G, and this is your function. Uh, and that's what the derivative of it, um, just to make sure that this is differentiation operator. And then we are doing the Gaussian, um, it's called Gaussian smoothing and differentiation at the same time. So hopefully um, this is going to or give us an idea about what edge, edge enhancement. It's still a convolution between a small uh, kernel matrix and your original image. And if we would look at an example like this, so this is an edge enhancement uh, using the Sobel operator. This is our original image. Uh, and if you do the Sobel operator, the horizontal Sobel operator, uh, which is this one here, the minus one, minus two, minus one, zero, 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 and one, two, one, and you do convolution on this image, you will end up with this um, result or this image. If you do the vertical one, which is this, um, 
you know kernel matrix you will end up with this one here and if you did the gradient norm um, there is also another function that can be done in MATLAB it will give you the, the um, edge the edges um, to just to see the, see the edges between the uh, these cells so this is the first operator in order to do uh, edge enhancement the second op and uh, remember that this is depending on the differentiation uh, first order differentiation we have another operator called the Laplace operator which does the same as um, you know the um, Sobel operator but uh, the only difference in the plus operator that it is actually a derivative operator which is used to find edge uh, in an image and the only differences between the Laplace operator and the Sobel operator actually and the other operators is that uh, they were all uh, the Sobel is a first order derivative uh, mask but Laplacian is a second order derivative mask and that's how you see it the second derivative with respect to uh, partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with the, uh, the second partial derivative with respect to y and if you combine them together actually we will end up with this mask uh, that is a representation of the Laplacian operator. So what we do is we take this matrix actually and we apply it to our original you know, schematic here. You put it in as a kernel matrix and you do convolution with an image and the result of, the, of this convolution will be actually um, the edges of your um, image or the image the Im edges of them whatever it, whatever it is in your image so if you use the sa same example from the Sobel operator and we did the Laplacian operator which is a second order derivative uh, we are in, we end up with this um, result here so hopefully this um, video um, gave gave a um, a quick overview overview or a quick introduction to what is actually uh, what do we mean by um, uh, Gaussian, uh, oh sorry, uh, convolution filters, specifically uh, in sharpening and edge enhancement. So, hopefully this was helpful, and um, I'm I'm glad that you were reached this point. So, if you watched till this point, thank you so much. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section, and I will be more than happy to. Um, answer them uh, for you. Uh, please oh, note that I'm going to be making uh, more videos um, about the topic uh, that we are covering, uh, which is an Im image processing and uh, convolution filters. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.